All right, everybody. In an effort to uh, have some skin in the game, we'd like to have you guys make a video. It's kind of an introduction video, just so we know who you are. My name's Todd. Below this video will be my Instagram link for those of you that don't know me or don't follow me on Instagram. Cigar, cigar and barbecue Todd. Um, one of the things we want you to do to become a smoking gorilla is to make a video. It doesn't have to be anything special. It can be smoking a cigar, telling us a little bit about yourself even, barbecuing, uh, reviewing a cigar. It doesn't have to be that hard. But to get one of these, got to make a video. So tonight, while I light up, which ought to be interesting, using a soft flame and a breeze. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's going to be tricky. Uh, I started smoking cigars back middle 90s, 94 to 96, somewhere in there. And I did like a lot of people did. I uh, think it was Thompson's or probably Thompson's at the time. Uh, they used to have these Dutch Masters. They were cheap, 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 nasty cigars. You know, I smoked a couple of them, split the box with a friend of mine. We both, we didn't have humidors. We didn't know anything about <laughs> We didn't know anything about anything at that time. Uh, we probably were lighting them with matches. Um, we weren't even smart enough to use a butane bic. The reality is... I talk to a lot of people and I mention that name Dutch Masters and a lot of people go, oh yeah, I remember those nasty things. They were sweet and had a sweet tip and that and, you know, so I mean, I think we all have in common when we first started smoking cigars, we were not aficionados by, and I'm by far not even close. Come on, mister. Come on, win. Come on, Mother Nature. I'm trying to make a video. Let me get this thing lit. Anyway, throughout the years, I've had a number of friends try to get me back into cigars. And it wasn't until earlier this year, into last year, I can't remember when it was, where by accident, a friend of mine, who let's just say had a little bit too much to drink, handed me a Cohiba Black. Probably by mistake. If you ask him to this day, he would swear that he would never hand me a $15 stick. Fine. I smoked this cigar that night. I think it was back in February. Yeah, it was after the Super Bowl. It's down in Dallas. One of the most phenomenal smokes I had ever had. The reason is, you don't have to like Cohiba. You don't have to like half the brands people smoke. The reality is, is this is a quality cigar. If you don't like it, great. The tobaccos in this thing are quality. The construction is quality. You pay sixteen to twelve to sixteen dollars, seven to sixteen dollars for any cigar. You're getting something of phenomenal quality. The reality is, for me, my palate was never has never favored the mild cigar. Um, in fact, after I get a cold this year, a friend of ours who's also a member, who's a manager at a local smoke shop we're going to do a mild cigar tour after I take a week or two off from smoking a cigar now between us I hope I never have to smoke a cigar or have, no, hope I never have to do that that I get the, I'd rather never smoke a mild cigar than have a cold but the reality is I'm going to get a cold my other thing that I will add about cigar smoking is it's a very social uh, it's what am I I'm looking for a word and when you're doing these videos hey I'm not gonna edit this I'm just trying not to use certain words over and over like um or oh the reality is, is for me cigar smoking is just as much about the social aspect than it is the flavor the smoke the whatever else you find interesting some people like to drink bourbons uh, that's all fine and good. I'm not here to judge that. The social aspect, I can say this 
without any doubt, I've met some very good people smoking cigars. In fact, a friend of mine, Aaron Clary, who uh, has a channel on YouTube, had asked me, he does, I guess you could say, millennial life coaching, and it's uh, spawned off. Sorry, I've got my neighbor over here pulling into the driveway. Uh, it spawned off into people asking questions about stuff, and a middle-aged male had asked him through an email to do a video on a good way for a single man in his 40s recently divorced to meet quality men, perhaps women. He had pinged me because I'm in my mid to late 40s and said, how do you meet quality people? I said, it's simple, I go to a cigar lounge. Not every lounge you go to, you're going to meet somebody you like, but the majority of them are going to meet quality people. And that's kind of the second factor into this. The third thing about cigars, to me, that's neat is just the camaraderie you have with people. If I have one gr regret that I didn't do this 15 years ago, and the reason I say that is it, it kind of is a bummer when you're at a lounge and somebody's talking about the Camacho Triple Maduro old blend versus the current blend, and they claim that they never uh, change the blend. Well, I've never had the old one, so I don't know. Uh, but that's really the deal. Uh, the gorillas were just about having a good time, doing some stuff, being community, got some plans down the road if we can generate a little revenue off this, like to help veteran charities, and uh, maybe move forward with something like that. We're not here to make money. We're just here to cover the costs, maybe get a few free cigars here and there, um, do some real lounge reviews, some real reviews on cigars, what Dwayne, Doug, and myself think about a cigar. We would like to maybe get some special guests on. We'll just see what happens. Um, so far, the turnout has been pretty awesome. And when I say turnout, I mean we've hit some lounges on events and had a positive response. We've patched in a lot of members recently. The requirements, like I say, just make a video. Get so we can get to know you a little bit. Just make sure you're not just here to run around with this patch. And 650 for a patch, yeah, we could sell these things all day long. And as I don't know if you guys can tell, but this gives you an idea how big, here, it's a 16 ounce Bud Light. This is a big patch. It's not a little tiny patch. So, we just want you to make a video. We want you to have some ownership into the group. We'd like you to participate. We want quality people. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. I'd rather have 25 quality people than 250 people that just want a patch. So, if you're down with that, cut a video. We don't judge. This is probably the worst video you'll ever watch. And you know what? I don't really care. So, hey guys, gals. This is open to anybody that, as long as you either smoke cigars or barbecue, one or the other, you don't have, you can do both, you don't have to do both. Just kick it, make a video, let's see what we can do with this. Thanks a lot.